Now here is how to customize Notion on your iPhone. So the Notion application is great for editing notes, writing down all of your thoughts and organizing your life. However, if you don't do anything with the page and just, you know, start typing in the notes, then it's just looking pretty blank. So not really that interesting. In order to customize it, I would 100% begin by adding the icon, which is definitely very useful. Uh, you can click on this and by default, it's going to move you over to the emojis. A lot of times using an emoji is good enough, right? So uh, you can see that this is okay. However, you can also upload your custom image from your gallery. If you want to make it look even better, make sure that the image is like PNG, you know, with a transparent background, but up to you. And also one option is the icons, which are just black icons, but yeah, kind of look nice and pretty good actually. Then the next thing I would customize is the cover, right? So cover is basically like this image, which shows up above the the notes about the page obviously by default you get a random example but make sure to pick a different one so you can pick something from the gallery or you can upload your custom from your own gallery or you might link to a different file like if there is like a like an image on the internet you might paste the link right here or also there is the unsplash connection here meaning that you know unsplash is a website where you can just freely download and use images uploaded by a bunch of people so you can just search for whatever you like i don't know like dog right here and we're gonna bring this over so it looks kind of interesting if you ask me right so that is like the first way on of how you can actually make this a little bit more customized but when it comes to the text and the text fields make sure to play around with the available options so you know start with the title which is much larger this looks nice and in order to customize it you need to click on the plus button and now this is where the fun begins as you have many different views and the tables headings to-do lists like different sizes you know dividers there is the uh call out is like really interesting with these you know the um lightning you know like the the bulb right here so it looks nice and everything so it is up to you to obviously just figure out what you prefer, but using these elements, you can customize your pages very nicely. However, the next option is to pay attention to the text, right? Cause you know, I'm gonna type in the example word right here. And right now it still looks kinda not really anything special. So when I double tap on it, it's gonna, it's gonna get selected. I can go with the bold, italics, underline, you know, the basic stuff, but also there is the changing of the color. So you can change the color of the text and you can also change the color of the background. So you can easily just have like an orange text on a yellow background. This makes it look a little bit more customized and special. So this is another option, which I would definitely just take advantage of inside of my Notion pages. And one last tip, which I'm gonna give you is to use Notion templates. You know, it's kind of hard to come up with your own designs and you can save a lot of time by going to the Safari and looking up Notion templates, right like that. And the first one is, the first link is the Notion Marketplace, which contains at this point 30K plus templates, which you can use inside of your Notion. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but you can find many of like the categories. You can even use the search bar to find something very specific. But let's say I'm gonna come up with a habit tracking. I'm gonna filter it by free only. And I'm gonna pick something which I like to have or something that is visually appealing to me. I can click on get template and it is gonna show up inside of my uh, Notion workspace. Perhaps it has to load up, sometimes it glitches out, but just make sure that it just doesn't, you know, duplicate itself because sometimes it might happen, right? So you can see that we have it like three times in here. So yeah, but this is pretty cool if you ask me and it is uh, already prepared. You can just grab it from the internet. So very simple, very cool. 
and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.